I have never played Spy Fox and Hold the Mustard before. I know it's a junior arcade game, but much like Cheese Chase, never owned it, never played it, so this is entirely blind. Let's see what this is all about. <sighs> Red background? That's one I haven't seen before. Say when. <laughs> That's way too much catch up, bro. <laughs> what is so special about catch up that makes people want it more than mustard? <laughs> Can it be the tomatoes? <laughs> Who is this monkey mob boss? <laughs> I am King Conglomerate, maker of fine mustards. I won't compete with ketchup. I will utterly destroy it and send my robots to eliminate all the world's tomatoes. <laughs> and when the ketchup runs dry and I force my mustard into the marketplace, the whole world will realize what they have been missing. King Conglomerate Condiments and Technologies will rule the condiment world! <laughs> this is already amazing. And I am fist. <laughs> what? That is a top tier intro right there. Welcome to Spy Fox and Hold the Buzzard. King Conglomerate. One of the best names I have ever heard. <laughs> I'm like, look, dude, I think the reason people like ketchup is it's just, it's simple. And it doesn't have that much flavor, whereas mustard a little goes a long way. I actually don't mind mustard, but I don't like the generic yellow mustard. I like the, like, spicy or, like, the whole grain mustard. Those are good. Yellow mustard don't really do it for me. That dog had way too much ketchup on his hot I don't care who you are. That is way too... If you can't see the hot dog under the ketchup, that's too much ketchup. I'll, I'll just say it. Also, I love this idea, though. He's like, I'm this, like, CEO of Mustard Corporation. I'll send my evil robots that I happen to have on hand to destroy all the tomatoes in the world so that people appreciate Mustard War. Where was Spy Fox in that intro, though? Maybe he'll appear if we start a new game. Are you all strapped in and ready to go, Here Spy go. Fox? This new spy plane of yours is quite impressive, Quack. Why, yes. I've put quite a bit of effort into creating this mess. Well, I wouldn't say it was a mess. No, not mess. Mess. As in multiple environment spy ships. Oh my it gosh. It is capable of travel through air, sea, this and This game has continuity space. with Operation Perfect Ozone. for the morning commute. Good morning, Spy Fox. Before we go to the Spy Corps training ground, you need to enter your call sign. I get it. You What's with the new appearance, name, Monkey Penny? Code name or gnome de guerre or handle to complete the uplink with mobile command. Yes. All right. This okay. This explains why they referenced the super spy mess in Operation Ozone. I just thought it was like. I just thought it was like a weird thing that was in the game. No, they were actually referencing Hold the Mustard all this time. That's actually kind of amazing. I am now getting the complete Spy Fox lore. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of a callback to Smelly as well. That's great. All right, I'm, I'm Artie. Yes, I am. All right, we're done with that. I'm ready to go. Is this going to be keyboard control or mouse control? One of the things I liked about Maze Madness is you could do it all keyboard control. Right now, you should concentrate on becoming familiar with controlling oh. the mess. Fly through the practice fuel stations without crashing into them. Okay. Oh, is this going to be a happy fun sub? Training ground one. Oh. Oh, that's... This is weird. Hang on. Oh, you can use the keyboard. Oh, yes! Okay. I already like this. And we have a radar map of where all the fuel... Oh! Okay, this seems kind of awesome. Of course it's smelly if it's drowned in ketchup. This is already one of the best controlling, uh... <laughs> Why do I even talk? Right now, you should concentrate. Yeah, thanks, thanks, Quack. <laughs> Why do I even talk? Every time I talk, I'm like, this isn't so hard. Boom, I always, like, every time I die. It's like, every time I say something, like, oh, this control's really well, all of a sudden, like, bad controls cause me to screw. <laughs> That's, that was great. All right, go based off of the radar, I guess. All right, I go. It's my first time playing, folks. So we're. 
<laughs> I forgot about that sound alert. I'm so glad that people redeemed that. That was indeed a mistake. Otherwise, though, like, this controls pretty well. Like, it, it follows some physics, so it's not like you press right and it just instantly snaps to move right. But, oh, and we're constantly moving down. That's interesting. Okay, so there's not like an end site. You just have to fly through all the fuel cells. Okay, cool. I like the Spy Fox Let's logo. Let's try that again with more challenging obstacles. Okay. Do we get to attack at all? Training ground 02. I, liter I literally died on the easiest level of the game. Actually, okay. How about instead of constantly zigzagging up and down, we just take all the ones that are on top first, and then we go to the bottom. That would be smarter use of our time. And, and our fuel, Spy Fox. Gas is pretty expensive in this economy. <laughs> At least if we don't have the spy cop. Oh, I'm not dead. <laughs> well, we were almost in an even bigger mess than the one that we started flying. This is, okay, this is a very interesting Junior Arcade game. The Spy Fox Junior Arcade games are very different from the usual Junior Arcade games. But I kind of dig that. It makes them stand out. I mean, you'll never top Maze Madness, but still. Level complete. I'm not really sure how doing this is going to thwart King Conglomerate's I'll plans, air dropping colored markers from a high altitude. Try and catch as many as you can. Oh, I see. Training ground 03. Get back here. Oh, okay. This is where... Okay, this is where the controls get not as good. Uh! Is this like a bonus stage? Because if I have to grab a whole bunch of these, we're going to be in some trouble. I knew I should have studied pilots in, uh, like, pilot school more a little more. I can't fly airplanes very well. Although I did see Top Gun on an airplane once. It was pretty great. I don't know why people said it was a volleyball movie, though. Apparently, that was we did good enough. That's good. This also means at some point during this uh, playthrough... This level will have target drones to fire at. Try and disable them before they reach the ground. Okay, that makes things a little difficult. I'm sure at some point in this playthrough... You're gonna get more arty lore. Anytime I play like a new Humongous Entertainment Junior Arcade game, it usually get more arty lore. It happened for. Oh, wow, that looked pretty violent. Okay, hang on. There must. Okay, what button on the keyboard is shoot? Or is there a button on the keyboard to shoot? Hmm. This is so... this is bizarre. Still not entirely sure what to make of this game. But if it sounds like we're still in the training level. Ow! <laughs> sounds like we're still in the training level, so hopefully... Maybe things will get more interesting once we leave the training levels. Do 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 do! those flew off. It disappeared off the radar. Good enough, I guess. <laughs> Level complete, Spy Fox. You didn't do that the way we wanted you to, though. <laughs> Frankly, this quack. Use <laughs> I did my best. You have learned so far. Good luck, Spy Fox. Okay. 
I like the music, though. Is this Jeremy Soul again? Oh, I just realized... It follows like a... Spy Fox, did you destroy the mess again? <laughs> Sorry, Quack, I'll pay more attention this time. <laughs> I'll pay more attention this time, Quack. <laughs> I was looking at the wrong spot on the radar. I was I didn't realize that it follows like Pac-Man rules. You can go to the right side by moving off the left side. Oh my gosh! What the okay, the air currents were blowing me down. Game over! You failed in the tutorial level, Spy Fox! That's not gonna bode well for you. Wow. <laughs> if only my cousin would come back from his job in the Lilat system. Ah, uh, I get it. This level will use all the skills you have learned. Yeah, that's great, Quack. Have I ever played Star Fox? I have. In fact, I want to play Star Fox 64 on the channel sometime. Really good game. Also, Star Fox Assault, another really good game. That was unnecessarily hard to fly through. Ouch. Yeah, that didn't look like a very smart thing to do, Spy Fox. You know, Quack, if you're... <laughs> how about you play the game instead of me? <laughs> then we'll see how good you really are. We flew for all of the fuel rings, so now we gotta take out all the drones, and they keep multiplying. Most people skip Assault because of Adventure. Star Fox Adventures wasn't a bad game, but I don't know why it was labeled as a Star Fox game. Because it, the only thing about it that is even somewhat related to Star Fox is the fact that it has some of the characters from Star Fox in it. Like, it played more like a Zelda game. Admittedly, not a very good Zelda game either. I was not a fan, but apparently some people really like adventures. Oh, I also did not care for Prince Tricky. It's like, oh yeah, to beat the game, you need this, like, little dinosaur to, like, do stuff for you. But sometimes he just literally won't listen to you. It's like, who thought that was a good idea? Like, it says there are the drones at the top of the screen, but then I go to the top of the screen and they're not there. Du -du -du -du. Wow. We've received an urgent SOS call from a ship in the Mediterranean. It's Ooh. a tomato tanker en route to Italy. There are hordes of robots stealing all the tomatoes. We need you to investigate and check out the tanker. No time to play games now. Duty calls. All right. <laughs> now we get into the actual plot. Because that was the training grounds. Now it's the new world. You got 955 points. You really stunk. Mediterranean Sea, level one. Okay, this is a very weird game. Oh, hi. <laughs> Spy Fox, that was a good guy ship. You just blew up an ally. Oh, well. That wasn't part of the tutorial. <laughs> the radar is not exactly that accurate, I'm learning. Sometimes it shows stuff that's just not there. Ow! Okay, I don't like these semi-realistic air currents. That's kind of annoying to uh, play out through. Tomato! Get the tomato! Now, I'll be honest, I don't even like ketchup. <laughs> but at the same time, I can't deny a mission when it involves shooting things. <laughs> 
That was my favorite part of spy school. <laughs> In fact, that's pretty much canon. In Spy Fox and Dry Serial, Spy Fox was literally in charge of training a weapons class at the Spy Academy. In a uh, one-off, easily missed line of dialogue. I'm really glad... We're lucky that these ships don't have their own guns equipped. If they did, this would be very difficult. Why does it keep saying there's an enemy here? Oh, it's... I didn't realize you could go underwater. That's why. We could honestly probably just let them... Level com... I guess we completed the level somehow! Oh no, they took one tomato. <laughs> That's okay though. Wow, there we go. That's the big boy scores I was looking for. This is a very strange game. <laughs> that took a long time to count up. Here we go, Mediterranean Sea level 2. So I'm guessing it's five level worlds. So I think it might be easier to use the mouse. Since you, it doesn't seem like you can... Use the keyboard to shoot. So it actually is looking like the mouse is going to be easier. Words I never thought I would say. Spy Fox to the rescue. Gonna shoot him down and get those tomatoes, yeah. I'll be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of tomatoes IRL. Tomatoes are pretty good when they're cooked, but I don't like I don't like raw tomatoes. Raw tomatoes do not do it for me. So I guess we should target the enemies that are carrying tomatoes first. Make sure they don't get away with them. Also making sure we pass through the fuel cells. Oh wait, the fuel cells are probably just not required. It's probably just shoot down the tomatoes. Or, no, I'm sorry, shoot down the guys trying to take the tomatoes. Hey, get back here! <laughs> no, they went into outer space! Is, is King Conglomerate's, like, base in outer space? That would be kind of cool, actually. Getting late. Good night, Metal Lord. I'll be ending the stream in probably five or ten minutes. Probably when we get to the end of the Mediterranean Sea. Thanks for joining in. Have a great night. The spy box. Why did you shoot that thing? It was marked red on the radar. I assumed red means enemy. Red just means another moving ship, spy box. <laughs> Whoops. Too much Galaga. <laughs> Spy Fox is caught. It's like starting World War III by shooting down like foreign nation ships. <laughs> they looked like they were stealing tomatoes. <laughs> oh no! We lost. <laughs> Good news. I stopped them from taking the tomatoes. Um, but the tomatoes still got destroyed. <laughs> I didn't know that was something you wanted me to do. I thought you just said don't let them take them. Boom, 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 boom. Why do I feel like the tomatoes are easier to grab than the much larger spy tokens? That doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. I am going to be interested to see just how, like, <laughs> tough the later levels are going to get. Because these are the early levels, and I did die in the tutorial, but... 
I, this, I feel like the tutorial levels are more dangerous than the main levels. LEVEL COMPLETE! Alright, Mediterranean Sea, level 4. So, we're about to see if my 5 levels per world theory is correct or not. This is giving me slight Happy Fun Sub vibes. Since it's like, oh, you can be the submarine or you can be the air. In the air. That. Ugh. Oh, no, you don't. Trying to steal tomatoes, huh? Not in my house. Gotta work on my aiming skills a little bit, methinks. Do, 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 do. I am starting to see why people don't talk about this game as much. This doesn't seem as fun as a lot of the other junior arcades. And it seems... I, I guess I don't know how many levels there are. I'm hoping this will do the Maze Madness route and maybe be like 50 levels. If, there, if there's 100 levels in this game, that's this is going to take a long time. <laughs> and I could definitely see me just being like, that's not really worth it if I wasn't streaming it. Hey, level complete! We didn't even need the fuels. 6,000 points. Yes! Alright. Last level of the stream, most likely Mediterranean Sea level 5. I love that guitar. This is giving me slight Donkey Kong Country 2 Funky's Flights mission for vibes. <laughs> it's like, oh, you gotta fly, go underwater, shoot the blockades, save Chunky Kong from being kidnapped by the Zeners. Oh, if we do that in Spy Fox, that'll <laughs> that'll be official. That's a, that'll really just a ripoff. <laughs> I don't think you're in the right part of town, Buster. Gotta shoot them before they can take those tomatoes. So the fuel area is divided up into, like, three bars. One for your air fuel... One for your underwater fuel. But what's the third bar? That's one I don't get. Oh, no, you don't. You'd think King... How does King Kong... Yeah, King, King Conglomerate, you might be doing better in your business if you didn't spend money on these attack drones. He's like, no, I'm not selling enough mustard. That's why I'm not doing well at business. Like, um, or maybe it's you're spending money on stuff that's not affecting your profits at all. There we go. So is that the end? Nope, never mind. So it looks like it's not five levels per world. Well... Looks like that's gonna... Wait a second, is that gonna save? Guess I never thought about it, but is that actually gonna save our progress? I hope that saves our progress, because I am gonna end the stream there. Thanks for joining in, everybody. Spy Fox Hold the Mustard seems like a very interesting game, and we're gonna be playing this on and off periodically, I guess, after Backyard Baseball, until we beat it. Hopefully we finish it in time. <laughs> I highly doubt that it's going to take as long to finish this as it will Backyard Baseball, but this will at least be an interesting playthrough, and I li I love the premise at the very least. Keen Conglomerate is phenomenal. I hope we see more of him. Anyways, yeah, thanks for joining in. It was fun talking with you all. Uh, I hope you guys tune in for other streams. Otherwise, hey, have a great rest of your night, and God bless everybody.